Early access games are a mixed bag. On the one hand, sometimes you get something like Ark Survival Evolve, which was massively popular throughout its early access phase, during which time about the worst thing you had to deal with was lousy optimization and the occasional very hilarious bug. The game has since officially released. On the other hand, frequently what you get is something like Descent Underground, which was in early access for a few years, during which time development ranged from non-existent to actually moving backward, before they finally pulled the game out of early access entirely, throwing the finger at everyone who had bought in on that phase. We're about three years past their original release date, and you can't even play the game anymore. All of that into account, I want to say that Astroneer is more like Ark than Descent Underground. Astroneer is being developed by System Era Softworks for both the PC and Xbox. It's available on PC from Steam, because duh, but also via the Windows Store, which brings with it Play Anywhere perks for those that own both a PC and an Xbox, as well as cross-platform support. That's why I own it. I was looking for a game that I could play with my friends who own Xboxes, and this one was cheap at just $20. Since the title is still technically in early access, the core gameplay is constantly changing and being refined. Because of that, I'm not going to call this a proper review of the game despite the upwards of 25 hours I've put into it. But even if the specifics of the gameplay haven't been nailed down completely yet, and the endgame material is still nowhere to be found, I do think that the general mechanics and aesthetics of the game are pretty well defined. So let's talk about my first impressions of Astroneer. Like I said above, I feel pretty confident that Astroneer is one of the good early access titles. The game feels like it's under active development, and the development schedule that's been laid out by System Era seems perfectly reasonable. They're shooting for a version 1.0 release in early 2019. Of course, you should never purchase a game in early access unless you feel like you'll be able to get your money's worth of enjoyment with the game in its current state. So let's talk about what Astroneer really is. Simply put, it's basically Minecraft set in space with a higher polygon count. If we use lots more descriptive words, it's actually got very little in common with Minecraft, but they both focus around open-world, non-narrative gameplay that involves gathering resources and using them to craft stuff, so the comparisons are probably unavoidable. But as you can see, it's more than just the fact that Astroneer's hills have rounded edges that sets the game apart from Minecraft. The game is more structured in terms of what you can build, and what you can do with the stuff that you build, which has the effect of making it feel a bit more like an open-world RPG with no story or character levels than a clone of Minecraft. For my part, maybe the thing I like the most about it versus something like Minecraft is the fact that it is a little more structured. The freedom Minecraft gives you is great, but good luck figuring out what the heck you're supposed to be doing with all the random stuff you find while you're exploring and mining. It'll either take you random experimentation across the decade of your life, or you'll have to go find a Minecraft wiki somewhere and read the whole thing. Astroneer's structure, complete with little tooltips and a currently very basic tutorial, helps guide you so that you have a basic idea going in of what everything is and does. Even when you discover new things, figuring out what you're supposed to do with them is simple. In all the time I've put into the game, I've only ever found one thing that it wasn't almost immediately obvious what I was supposed to do with it. The game is highly atmospheric, though that atmosphere is almost exclusively a very fluffy and sort of pink one. Combined with the incredibly satisfying noises and clicks that everything in the game makes, the whole experience is super relaxing. I could legitimately fall asleep just listening to the sounds of this game if it were less entertaining than it is. As we've covered before on this channel, I'm not a huge fan of most stressful games. I can only play them for a few hours at a sitting before I need to get up and go watch a few episodes of The Joy of Painting with Bob Ross to chill out. Astroneer is the complete opposite of stressful. Relaxing, I guess, but it's also still fun to play. Particularly when I'm starting a new save, or I've created a new base in a new area, or on a new planet, because of course you can fly to other planets, I can lose hours upon hours into this game. Astroneer was actually the game that finally showed me where the limit was, beyond which my headset starts getting really uncomfortable. It's around six hours. I'm not likely to hit that limit with very many other games. Currently, Astroneer's main downsides all stem from it being an early access game. The UI feels unfinished in some places. Options for PCs are very sparse. It's not quite as optimized as it should be. There are bugs, the gameplay isn't incredibly deep, and about six or seven hours is all it's going to take before you've pretty much done everything you can do, and you'll either need to head to a new planet and start over from scratch, or wait until a new patch adds a bunch of new content, and you'll want to start a new save. But the point there is that every major new patch, which seemed to come out about monthly at least, brings a bunch of new content that'll make you want to start a new save. The game is getting bigger rapidly, and by the time it reaches version 1.0, I don't doubt it'll be worth the 40 or 50 dollars they're planning to ask for it. 
Currently, I feel like it's well worth the $20 I paid. If nothing else, those of you who like open world exploration and crafting games will want to keep an eye on it. I'm about 90% certain this one isn't bound for an early access grave. Maybe even 91.